artists too like you know anytime you can hear something like that you want to stop the show you want to make sure you know fans get the proper attention they need you know and I, anytime I could see anything like that I did you know mm -hmm. um, you know I stopped like a couple times to just make sure everybody was okay and I just really just go off the you know the fans energy as a collective mm -hmm. you know call and response and I just didn't I just didn't hear that you know mm -hmm. I got music I got my in-ears but I just didn't I just didn't hear that you know face of the festival, you know, I'm, a, I'm an artist, you know, um, so yeah, you know, the media is, you know, they, yeah, they want to, you know, put it on me and, but at the end of the day, it's like, I don't think it's more so about that. I think it's more so about um, stepping up to figure out what the problem is. And I could take that. Mm -hmm. I could take, you know, stepping up to figure out what the problem is. I could take stepping into figuring out the solution that never happened again, because that's what I generally want to do in general, even just for my community, you know? We call it global climate change, and it is, but it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth, almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm-shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love.